So one of my early experiences at that time is I was the first woman to ever serve on the Transportation Committee. And I had, I joined a whole bunch of crusty old highway engineers and people like that. The chair of the committee did not seem at all pleased to have me there. And I remember I'm just like very much younger than I am now. And I'm in my first term and I'm very quiet. And so I'm sitting there most of the time not saying anything. We have a bill that's coming before us. And the bill is to have motorcycles have their bright lights on all the time as a safety measure. So this is so, so I raise my hand, the first time I'm speaking out in the committee. And I say, you know, Mr. Chairman, I used to ride a Vespa. And, when you, and the circuits on a Vespa were such so that the lights and the horns were wired in series. And when that happened, when you put the bright lights on, you couldn't use the horn. And that was very dangerous. And so the chairman gives me this snarling look. You can just imagine, you know, here's his buddy who's head of the motorcycle safety thing making this presentation. He says, I think these people know more than you know about it. I don't think that's something we have to worry about. And the guy who's making the presentation says, you know, the little lady has a point. <laughs> he said, there are some of those cycles around that still are built like that, and we really need to give them the option. <laughs> so anyway, at least it's a little easier now. People don't talk about legislators as little ladies, but it's always good to remember that technology and feminist activism uh, can go together, but they're sometimes a little hard to get everyone else to understand that they that that, that they are part of a, of the same problem going on. So, well, uh, and I just had a meeting with my senator uh, today, also my constituent, Senator Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota, and she introduced me to another senator, Senator Kay Hagan, I believe, from North Carolina. Is that, I hope that's right. And I just learned that she has just integrated the Senate swimming pool. The swim Senate swimming pool was still segregated <laughs> until fairly recently. So in case anyone thinks that all the problems are over, they're not. <laughs> but I thank the people at, govern at, at governing and the people in this room who've helped to make them a little easier. 